Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marty Reeser. It is my privilege to extend a very cordial welcome to all of you during today's virtual post-commencement graduate recognition convocation for students in the IE School of Medicine Health Professions programs. As the Assistant Dean of Health Professions, I am honored to be here today to represent the IU School of Medicine. This day of achievement and recognition for members of the graduating class is shared in many instances with parents, wives, husbands, partners, and other relatives and friends who have helped in various ways to make this attainment possible. For those who are able to join us in this virtual celebration, I offer a very special welcome on behalf of the class, the faculty, and the university. Members of the class of 2021, we continue today an honored tradition of assembling in formal convocation to celebrate the fact that you have achieved a significant milestone on the road to knowledge and self-realization. We recognize that you would have preferred for this to have been an in-person ceremony, but we hope you were able to participate in the IUPY commencement ceremonies on Saturday, May 15th at the Michael A. Carroll Stadium. At this time, we would like to recognize all of the graduates and degree candidates. Their successful responses to their educational experiences have earned them their degrees. We also recognize those who have contributed along the way. We recognize all relatives and friends whose inspiration, understanding, and assistance have encouraged your success. We recognize the dedicated faculty members to whom our graduating students owe an intangible but lasting debt. We recognize the academic officers and staff of the school and university whose counsel has enabled you to reach this milestone. We recognize our predecessors, faculty, staff, and administrators. Without their determined effort and high-minded vision, our present institutional stature would have not been possible. We recognize all those who contributed to any university's proud history. Our final recognition is on behalf of the administration and faculty to our students, you. We deeply appreciate the work that you did in partnering with our faculty to continue your training during this pandemic. For some, those adaptations started in March 2020. And we are grateful that despite the challenges, we have been able to keep all students on track to graduate to meet the employment needs of the state of Indiana and our citizens. At this time, Professor Nicholas Braille who serves as Director of Health Professions Programs and Director of the school's Clinical Laboratory Science Program, will recognize some unique achievements in this year's graduating class. Thank you, Dr. Reeser. My name is Nick Brell, and I'm the Director of the Health Professions Programs in the IU School of Medicine. Founded in Indianapolis in 1908, the IU School of Medicine is the largest medical school in the United States. The undergraduate degree programs were first established as a division in 1959 by the action of the trustees of Indiana University. In 1960, the trustees conferred upon the faculty of the IU School of Medicine the responsibility and authority to grant the Bachelor of Science degree to those students successfully completing the prescribed curriculum in four programs that had been offered long before the establishment of the division. Since that time, additional degree programs were approved and initiated. The various academic units are recognized for quality graduates, faculty, and programs. We are proud to be part of a university dedicated to the enlightenment of Hoosier scholars and to the progress of our great state and beloved country. Before recognizing each student by program, I would like to take a few moments for some special acknowledgments. Graduates and degree candidates who have been recommended by their faculty to graduate with honor are distinguished by honor cords. These honor cords were distributed prior to today's ceremony. Graduates who receive honors excel in GPA and rank in the top 10% of their program's graduating class. Cream and crimson honor cords denote those graduating with highest distinction. Cream honor cords denote those graduating with high distinction. And crimson honor cords denote those graduating with distinction. Honor graduates and degree candidates, we applaud you. We are also pleased to recognize Mr. Paul Barta, who is graduating today with two special honors. While working towards his baccalaureate degree in radiation therapy, Paul has also been enrolled in the IUPUI Honors College, which provides students with exceptional educational experiences and opportunities designed to supplement and enrich students' regular degree programs. To graduate from this program, students must complete at least 24 hours of honors credit. 
Some of our associate degree students are currently working towards this honor and will be recognized once they receive their baccalaureate degrees. Mr. Paul Barda is also the Health Profession Program's 2021 Chancellor's Honor Scholar. This Chancellor's Scholar Award is bestowed on an outstanding student in each of IEPY's 21 academic units who has achieved the highest level of academic performance while working toward completion of his or her degree. At this year's Chancellor's Academic Honors Convocation, the following words were shared by the student's program director. Paul is an exemplary individual. His dedication to scholarship, citizenship, and research are the epitome of the ideal college student. He has established himself as a role model and mentor amongst his peers. Since 2017, Paul has been an Honors College student and a scholar in the BEPCO Scholars and Fellows Program. As a student in the IU School of Medicine Radiation Therapy Program, he has excelled in all subjects and has been able to focus on his passion for cancer-related research. His yearning to learn is refreshing. Paul is also an avid volunteer within the community at numerous noteworthy organizations. Service is very important to him. He is enthusiastic about becoming a part of his patient's journey as they battle cancer, offering them the best care available. His plans for the future include returning to graduate school to become a medical decimetrist, which will offer him the opportunity to not only treat cancer, but become a valuable part of his patient's treatment planning process. We are proud to have Paul as a future alumnus of the Radiation Therapy Program and commend him on all of his many exceptional accomplishments. We now come to the most significant portion of this ceremony, recognizing all of our graduates and degree candidates. Each will be presented by the program director or program representative, including those who expect to graduate at the conclusion of the summer sessions. Finally, at the conclusion of the degree recognition portion of our ceremony, we will then hear closing comments from Dr. Paul Wallach on behalf of the Dean's Office. Dr. Wallach is a nationally recognized leader in academic medicine and currently serves the IU School of Medicine as the Executive Dean of Educational Affairs and Institutional Improvement. Raba Bellaret, Evelyn Feliciano, Caitlin Fillmore, Jessica Foster, Brennan Hammond, Yolanda Munoz, Kyle Owens, Lindsay Place, Lori Rep. Susanna Rodriguez, Roxanne Sheppers, Christine Schutte, Gabrielle Smith, Cassandra Wood. Evan Fogel, Roman Gomez, Brooklyn Jackson, Delaney Kneesley, Jamie Rem, Miguel Rosales Veloso, John Saunders, Haley Turpin, Samuel Wilson. Kaylin Bachinski. Connor Brosmer, Jessica Buckingham, Michaela Buford, Adam Creeden, Riley Ditello, Daniel Davis, Holly Davis, Kirsten Dunaway, Lacey Engelking, Taylor Freshour, Abadit Gourmet, Bailey Hayes, Christina Ho, Brooke Hoover, Erica Huntsman, Zabrina Jarbo, Madeline Jones, Joshua Kamichik, Grace Lee, Cassie Marball, 
Tommy Morris, Kamal Multani, Stacy Nifong, Tristan Phillips, Michaela Shipley, Deanna Stout, Jeremy Faker, Kiara Thornton, Erica Watford, Michaela Watson, Morgan Watson, Sarah Wood. Arwa, Al Harby, Roa, Al Harby, Alex Calderon, Brooklyn Dooley, Krista Harris, Preston Kazarski, Suki Carr, Ethan McIntyre. Marissa Myers. Faiza Sambu. Ree Samle. Dallas Waddell. Olivia Baker. Bacola Fatoy. Emily Kardatsky, Abby Knowlton, Benjamin Schuler, Leanne Suppinger, Hannah Wallard, Joseph Zollinger. Wafa Abdurrahman, Amy Bennett, Emily Bennett, Brianna Bood, Morgan Carpenter, Marina Clark, Miracruz Coolidge, Jordan Day, Mackenzie DeWitt, Ashley Ferris, Megan Garcia, Tessa Heathman, Maria Hayerly, Jacqueline Caston, Sarah Knight, Cortland Kester, Oksana Kirka, Nim Lee, Stephanie Leininger, Eric Minyard, Carrie Ortel, Tori Smaldone, Jordan Stichter, Adrian Stiles, Abigail Trot, Alyssa Van Nort, Leah Ward. Misty Winkler, Morgan Wright, Fatima Almuelum, Kayla Mons, Ruby Mulcahy, Caitlin Oldham, Taylor Poor. Andrew Reinhardt, Jazdeep Sidhu, Paul Barta, Elena Brubaker, 
Margarita Gajarto, Shayla Ariza, Nancy Lynn, Cole Lombardo, Melisha McGathy, Kaylee Phillips, Aaron Pearson, Mackenzie Poor, Lindsay Smith, Kaylee Thornton, Peyton West, Alex Wilhoit, Sierra Williams. Anwar El Ravlan, Emerson Alvarado, Ricardo Bell, Megan Burton, Haley Jackson, Alexandra Krakora, Jesse Kuiper, Mark. Luther Jr. Kayla Seifkin Brooke Starrett My name is Dr. Paul Wallach and I have the privilege of serving as Executive Associate Dean for Educational Affairs for Indiana University School of Medicine. I'm honored to have been asked to share some comments with our 2021 graduates of IUSM's Health Professions programs. When you all began your educational programs, for most, the word pandemic was something we read about in books and learned about in public health courses. In the fall of 2019, while visiting Philadelphia, I went to the Mutter Museum at the College of Physicians of Philadelphia. I spent two hours in the exhibit entitled Spit Spreads Death, the Influenza Pandemic of 1918-19 in Philadelphia. I read with interest about the pandemic of 100 years ago and took note that we had never had such an event in our lifetime. A few months later, that was to change. Each of us has now been impacted by this pandemic. Your educational experiences have been different. Your lives have been different. There have been losses suffered as a result, and for that, I'm sorry. But today, rather than dwell on the loss, I'd like to share my perspectives on the resilience of our learners, now graduates. I couldn't be more proud. I've seen glimpses into the character of our people, of our students, that provides context for who they are. Who's receiving these degrees this spring? Our graduates have endeavored to continue education, to remain on track to enter the healthcare workforce, which is critically important for our communities. Students in our programs have also volunteered in vaccine clinics, collected food for food banks, cared for patients, supported peers, all while continuing in their educational programs. And they have also cared for families, children, parents, and others. I am proud of you. None of you could get to this point without the support of family, friends, and significant others. To all of these individuals, thank you for your support of our graduates. And now a word to our class of 2021. I was trained as a general internal medicine doctor, and as such, I have done primary care. What became clear to me from the very beginning of my practice 
is that I could not deliver care to my patients all by myself. Healthcare is delivered best by a team. Each of you will become part of that team. Patients of mine have occasionally required community stabilization and transport. Our paramedics carefully provide care in that setting. Every patient requiring a radiologic test will interface with someone who's completed a radiography, nuclear medicine, or medical imaging program. Lab tests will be processed and evaluated by someone who has completed a clinical lab science program. Pap smears and biopsies of various sorts are processed by those who have studied histotechnology or cytotechnology. Respiratory therapists provide care and support for our patients with respiratory disorders like asthma and COPD and care for patients on ventilators in our critical care units. For anyone needing radiation therapy, typically in the midst of cancer treatment, those completing radiation therapy programs provide this care. So now, I'd like you to think about the following people. A patient traveling in an ambulance. A patient getting a chest x-ray for a cough with bloody sputum. A person who's felt badly for weeks who needs blood work. Another patient having a needle biopsy of a breast lump. A patient on a ventilator in the ICU unable to speak. A patient beginning radiation therapy for his cancer. Each comes with unique concerns fears, worries, and the person with whom they'll interact is you. You will have the ability to provide comfort, reassurance, and empathy, and you will be able to teach them important things about their illnesses. You will make the difference in how they feel. Are you up to it? While you're at work, there will be days. You'll run behind, the electronic health record will go down, supplies will be missing from the closet, a family member will be demanding, and you'll miss lunch. And while all that is happening, will you be able to pay attention to the patient in front of you and provide caring and not just health care? Are you up to it? I say you are. As long as you keep the patient central in your thoughts and for a moment, put yourself in their place, you will be up to it. So to all of you, my new colleagues, welcome. Thank you in advance. Wishing you a life of fulfillment based in service to others. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. I know that our faculty agree that our students are up to the challenges that lie ahead. To our graduates and degree candidates, let me add a final congratulations to your amazing achievements. This graduation recognition ceremony is appropriately celebrated by family and friends who have been in numerous ways supportive and encouraging of our graduates. If we would have gathered together I would have paused to ask members of the audience to stand and be recognized in this virtual setting. I now ask members of the class of 2021, wherever you might be, to join me in recognizing their family and friends who have helped them make this accomplishment possible. Members of the graduating class of 2021, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Indiana University School of Medicine Health Professions programs, I offer to you and your loved ones this benediction. May knowledge and wisdom guide you in your encounter with life and society. The Latin phrase lux et veritas that appears on the university seal means light and truth and are the acknowledged objectives of your alma mater. Therefore, go lux et veritas in light and truth. This concludes our virtual post-commencement graduate recognition convocation.